Hello, my name is Jiří Chalupka. I'm technical marketing engineer from Cisco and we will today to present one of the very important test case uh, which we tested during the ENTC uh, 2021. It's eVPN and PLS uh, to L3VPN in PLS and uh, eVPN Flix1 IP gateway. Let me first jump very quickly on the topology and introduce what we are exactly testing and actually also the purpose of the testing. For your reference, you can see uh, on the right side uh, in the corner uh, the draft uh, where you can find much more details about uh, the IP gateway. Most of the important part here is that we are basically able to, to insert new eVPN MPLS or eVPN weak slam uh, domain into the existing IP VPN service provider core for example. So you can see on the left side we have an eVPN MPLS domain. You can see also uh, how we have a route reflector for this domain. Then we have a, a IP uh, L3 VPN MPLS core, and then we have again another uh, eVPN weak slam uh, domain on the on the right side. Uh, here you can also see like the uh, particular devices uh, from all the vendors, and uh, you can see that basically uh, all the vendors are participating in most of the uh, most of the part of the of the network. Important here is that we have a full mesh, so uh, we are able to generate the traffic, and we will be presenting you this traffic from the left side to the right side, and from the right side to the to the left side. So basically, uh, we will be able to verify that the traffic is flowing by direction. At this moment, let me uh, switch or uh, pass the ball to the Spire. Thanks, Jerry, for the nice introduction. So I'll just go around the Spire side. We are making a roll of uh, PE on the MPLS side and as well as similarly on the VXLAN side. So we can see the first port is acting as a uh, MPLS PE router and uh, we have a emulation for ISS and then the BGP. And similarly, we have on the VXLAN side, the uh, ISS and the BGP. So currently we can see on the ISS tab. So I'll just move on to the BGP tab. Here we can see the both the BGP sessions are up, both from the MPLS side and as well as on the VXLAN side. So now we, we are having a fully meshed topology with the up and running control plane. And uh, we also send the traffic between bi-directional from right to left and from left to right. So this is from the MPLS side to the VXLAN side and similarly on the VXLAN side on the MPLS scenario. So these are the statistics currently it's running and we don't have any uh, drop as such. So pretty much this is a simple topology. So let me just go back and uh, introduce the Cisco IO6R devices in the, in the topology. So first on the left side, you can see uh, the, in the role DCI2, the NCS5500. Uh, which is there as a gateway between eVPN and PLS and uh, VPNv4 and PLS, basically L3 VPN. And you can see also the like output from the from the routing table. Here, very simple. I can see that I'm receiving eVPN route type five from the uh, from the leaf over over the RR1, and uh, I'm also receiving the route from uh, from RR2 in the VPNv4 or L3 VPN. You can see that I'm doing the, the balancing over uh, two remote DCI gateways to the, to the eVPN VXLAN over the DCI4 and DCI5. Uh, the router reflector uh, RR2 is also Cisco XRV9000 virtual router and uh, DCI5 is uh, ASN9901 uh, which is there as a gateway uh, between uh, VPN V4 and uh, eVPN uh, VXLAN. And this is like the basic introduction of the topology and I will pass the ball to the, uh, to the Arif panel. Thanks, Jiri, for introduction. My name is Michael from Arista. Uh, so this time you will actually see the view from the remote side more or less. So Jiri basically showed you the redistribution of uh, route from eVPN and PLS domain into a free VPN. So now we acting as DCI4 device, so we use Arista 7280 series for that purpose. And the kind of compressed view uh, from the routing table basically shows you that uh, one route is actually reachable by a single hop, uh, which is 140. This is the Spiron device, right, the emulation device. What is important to note that as transport, the VXLAN IP is used. So on the other hand, you see the remote route, which is 10.10.139, uh, and this route is reachable this time via three remote next hops, so uh, uh, via 111, 150, 
in 113 and the transport which is used uh, for data plane is uh, in PLS and the control plane is based on ISIS table routing. So the next slide will be introduced uh, by Juniper. Thank you, Jerry, and uh, thank you, Michael, uh, for the introduction of the topology. That was a good one. Uh, so my name is Ramdas Machat. Uh, I'm the technical marketing engineer from Juniper Networks. What you see in this topology, I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, the DCI3, uh, which is uh, MX480 playing, this, playing the role for the DCI3. So what you see here, uh, there are two routes, uh, 101139 and 1010140 as explained in the previous slides. So we receive the 1010139.0 from the EVPN as a type five route. So this is actually being uh, received by the RR2 from, uh, from this topology, uh, RR1 from this topology, what you see, 149. And the other, other two, other route, which is 101040, uh, it is being load balanced between the two next hops, 100.00.151 and uh, 117. Those are the DC, DCI4 and the DCI5, which are the gateways for the uh, VXLAN gateways. Thank you.